Also, the songs only last about two and a half minutes, maybe three. So if you want to dance, jump right out there immediately. We can't go back. So, you know, once the song ends, it's done. So make sure you get out there pretty quick, okay?
All the bands, of course, have vocalists in their guy or gal. The vocalists, the female vocalists, who are usually referred to as canaries, you can imagine that for a female singer on a bus with a bunch of guys traveling across country, the vocalists had to be very tough. Stand up for a right and stuff. Or you could lead the band. Like Nancy's doing tonight, or I back here in the big band here, something like uh, Ina Ray Hutton, who had a touring band as well. Thinking about this next song, you need to be careful about the advice you take. Bobby Darren was talking with Dick Clark about a new song he wanted to do, a new old song called Matt and I. Dick Clark said, Oh no, don't do that. You bad for your career, put the sell, put the winner. Well, so much for that. <laughs> Bobby Derrick made a good bit of money off that song. Huh? Yeah. And so now I think it's time for Nancy's uh, take on this, and she gave you some somewhat of a useful warning about an unsavory character that you've seen in the neighborhood back tonight. Thank you. 
she broke up the partnership to get married, then left Fred and started all over again. Then he clicked with Ginger Rogers and those dance films for RKO. But Fred was a little weary and insisted that at least one of the songs under contract for RKO would be someone other than Ginger Rogers. He was afraid of being tied too close to her and she'd leave him and he'd be forced out over again. So I wanted to see a way to do something else. So they said, okay. So they paired him with Joan Fontaine in a movie called Damsel in Distress. They lost money. <laughs> but if you're an old movie fan like me, go ahead and look that one up because it's really a delightful film. In addition to the two I mentioned, there's also George Burns and Tracy Allen. And that made it a kind of wacky film all of its own and uh, most enjoyable. Anyway, in this film, he's singing this to Joan Fontaine. And this uh, title, Nice Work You Can Get It, sometimes people think of it in terms of, uh, gosh, I wish I'd been in a big band back in the time period. It would have been wonderful. It would have been exciting and glamorous. Like the role that these guys have had today. Yeah. <laughs> 